hi everyone thanks for coming back for part three in this one I put in the terms mutate snare trap Jesus DNA gene Adam and rapture but I had to break down rapture into two parts and the reason I put in the word Adam is because in 1 Corinthians 15 52 where it says in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible we shall be changed and mutate is a, another word for change but over here in the Greek the word moment where it says in a moment it's actually the word Adam so you can see that right here it's the word moment is the word Adam and the concept is something that cannot be divided in two it's indivisible because it's so small and it's actually made up of the words Alpha which Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega and then this part means to cut or it's sharper it has to do with cutting to cut over here and so Jesus is the one who's gonna cut the atom and so I want to go ahead and go over the terms over here over here in the green you have the first part of the word rapture with the letters R A P and it's interesting that you have rose up sharing the P in the first part of rapture right next to it and then the second part of rapture would be over here in the burgundy with the letters T U R E so that's a pretty close proximity whenever a word is broken in two parts if it's meshed together or if it's in close proximity then there's more of a chance that it was meant to be broken up like that and, and it was meant to go together and then over here you have the word gene the light green the letters G E N E and then you have the word Adam going right through there as well with the letters A T O M and then you have DNA over here in the blue going through Adam the letters D and A and then you have the word trap which is another word for snare you have it coming over here in the lavender with the letters T R A P and then you have the word snare over here in the pink the letters S N a R E and then Jesus is connected to it and of course Jesus comes as a snare and then you have the word mutate going straight up and down in the light red with the letters M U T A T E and it's interesting right where you have the word mutate it's talking about where Jesus said unto him follow me and he forsook all and rose up and then rose up comes up right above the word snare over here and followed him and this is where you have the word mutate and then you also have it looks to me like the word DNA backwards several times right around here because you have the word and which backwards is DNA but you can see it a few times over here there's another one over here and then right at the top and so the words arise come up a couple of times in this matrix you can see it right here and then rose up comes up a couple of times in the matrix as well there's another one here and so it's interesting where this came up 
where you have the word mutate going straight up and down. And any time it's straight up and down, I think it's really important when the word comes up that way. And so I'll go ahead and read the matrix. It's coming up in Luke 5, 23 through 33. And it says, which is easier to say thy sins are forgiven or to say arise and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath authority on earth to forgive sins. He said unto him that was palsied, I say unto thee, arise and take up thy couch and go into thy house. And immediately he rose up before them and took up that whereon he lay and departed to his house, glorifying God. And amazement took hold on all, and they glorified God, and they were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. And this part comes up right over here. It says, Glorifying God, and amazement took hold on all, and they glorified God, and they were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things things today. And then under that you have the word mutate. And it goes on to say, after these things he went forth and beheld a publican named Levi sitting at the place of Toll, and said unto him, Follow me. And he forsook all and rose up and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his house, and there was a great multitude of publicans and others that were sitting at meat with them. And the Pharisees and their scribes murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do ye eat and drink with the publicans and sinners? And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are in health have no need of a physician, but they that are sick. I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And they said unto him, The disciples of John fast often and make supplications likewise, also the disciples of the Pharisees, but thine eat and drink. Okay, now I'm going to go on to this one, which is another one that has mutate in a good sense. And this one reads at the top, DNA, mutate, angel, host. And you see the word angel over here. And then you see the word host coming up here in the bluish purple with the letters H, O, S, T. And then you have DNA over here in the red, the letters D, N, A. And then you have mutate over here in the pink, the letters M, U, T, A, T, E. And as I said earlier, this is coming up in the book of Acts chapter 8, where it's actually talking about Philip being raptured. And I didn't even know that Philip was raptured until I read this matrix. And so I'm going to go ahead and read the matrix. And it says, But an angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, go, and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, the same as desert. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch, of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who was over all her treasure, who had come to Jerusalem to worship. And he was returning and sitting in his chariot and was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I accept someone shall guide me? And he besought Philip to come up and sit with him. Now the passage of scripture which he was reading was this. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before his shearer is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. In his humiliation his judgment was taken away, his generation who shall declare, for his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this, of himself or of some other? And Philip opened his mouth, and beginning from this scripture, preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on the way, 
they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch saith, Behold, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they both went down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, and the eunuch saw him no more, for he went on his way rejoicing. Okay, I just looked up the word caught away, and it's the word arpazo in the Greek, which means to seize, carry off by force, and it's the word that's the term used for the rapture. And this is the same way Elijah was raptured. As you can see from these images, he was taken in a chariot in a whirlwind. See this picture over here. And the whirlwind could represent a DNA strand. So you can see from this image, or this one right here is an even better one, because it spirals like a, a DNA strand. Okay, what I want to do next is go back to this image over here and go over the table that I found, which actually led to me finding this image and this information about the constellation of Aries. And I'll just read it again. It's over here. It says, Aries is the ram or the lamb in Hebrew, which means, it's Tala in Hebrew, which means lamb. The brightest star is El Nath. El is a name for God. Nath means broken or cut in pieces or poured out. And in 1 Corinthians 11, 24, it says, it's quoting Jesus when he said, This is my body, which is broken for you. Jesus is the Lamb of God. He is the authority, the God, the judge, broken for us. The star picture tells more of the story, however. The ram, lamb's forefoot, is stretched out over the cords which bind the fish to the beast set us. Thus the ram is said to be either claiming the fish as his or cutting their bonds which attach them to the beast. Here is set us the sea monster and here is the full, the full picture showing Aries breaking the bonds attaching the fish to the sea monster. And so I thought that was really interesting because this looks like a, a DNA strand over here, the way they drew this picture. And it's talking about the cords. And you see that it's binding the two fish, which are Pisces, which represent the church. And when you look at images of Pisces, you see how one is right side up and the other one is upside down. And so it's breaking the bonds that are tying the fish to the sea monster. And then over here you have Andromeda over here, which represents the bride in chains. But then in this image, you see Andromeda here, but over here you have Cassiopeia, which represents the, the raptured bride. And then over here is Cephas, which represents Christ. So this is all really interesting imagery. But I'm going to have to explain this in the next video, and I may do that another day since I've already done three videos today. But I'll try to explain all of that next and show you the table that led to these images in the next video. Thank you.